All right, folks, we're bringing it back to you now. Actually, a bit of a, a bit of a change in the plans here, as uh, we actually are going to showcase. Excuse me, some windows are up. Uh, we actually are going to showcase this uh, final map of the Tricked versus Envious game. So we'll see how it plays out here for Envious, as uh, they are actually tied one to one, I do believe, right now. And this one has also gone to Nuke, so this will be our third and final map of this set, and uh, we'll see how these teams play out and which one will go on to face GG. It'd be great, right, if uh, the first tournament after we've seen the bit of a switch up there, if. Uh, we could have Envious and G2 go up against each other, but uh, Envious have to get past their first opponent here in Tricked first. So we will wait and see if that'll be the possibility or if Tricked will maybe have a bit of an upset here to take down the guys from Envious and push themselves forward to face on the, uh, the new Frenchies over on G2. But it'll be Envious uh, starting off the CT side with Tricked on the T side. And Tricked for the most part here. Again, seemingly like they are going to go for just sending most of their players over here inside of the T lobby way. Uh, Devo Duvek, it's a very interesting name, by the way. He's going to be playing back over here by the ramp room initially to watch out for the extra pressure, but it's actually RPK. That's up to bat first. Down goes the bomb, though, and he gets a second one. The tank coming up huge here, picking up these kills. Sixer finding another one as well, but look at Johannes. He's picking up some massive frags as well, but unfortunately was not meant to be the damage that had already been done by RPK. Certainly makes it very much impossible for Trick to do anything else about that one. So Envious are going to shut down the pistol, and uh, they will be able to sh they will be able to take control of this one very quickly themselves and start off well, one to nothing in their favor now as they do push forward here and tricked well at the moment zero investment despite having no plant, and that seems to be the plan they are going to stick with here. They won't buy anything at all. Now the only question is where are they going to take this? Everybody inside a T lobby way. Are they going to rush? Bed dive to get a plant. That's not gonna work. <laughs> RVK already at six kills in the first two rounds and pretty much destroys tricks. Again, I guess they just tried to vent dive and plant B and then just take this into the third round, but yeah. Unfortunately, that plan does not work out the way they had planned it to. And that's pretty much the end of that one. So third round here, they at least add a bit of gun power, and well, already another kill here too. Johanna's moving in there, finds Happy early on here to take him down. Sixer spotted the outside pressure too. He is gonna have to deal with some guys down below him in a moment, but I think he actually gets the read on this and swings outside. Nicely found from Sixer, manages to find Hunden, and now hunting for one more up on top there too. I actually have never had the pleasure of spectating this player before, so unfortunately I'm a bit at a loss as to how to pronounce his name. Someone would like to help me with that. That would be great. Essa tag is how I'm seeing it now. That is probably completely incorrect. As it comes down, though, he is going to be eliminated. And Envious will still get very quick control of those first three rounds. And as far as the anti-eco to build up an economy is concerned, look at this. This is great. Most players sitting around AK happy. That's really the only one that's had to rebuy. They've only lost one. Actually, no. They didn't lose anyone in the second round. They only lose one player in that entire round. So it goes really quickly. And now we have to see what Trick have to offer us. Now that they actually managed to get some investment going for themselves here, too. We can see early on in the round here, Trick is actually going again for the outside control. Finally starting to push towards that, too. As, uh, as they hadn't gone for that before. Now they move towards it, but they're a little bit hesitant to wrap around the corner here, moving up towards Secret. Envious have a lot of Maltobs and one on the ground that's going to prevent them from moving forward here. And they're being really passive themselves. Envy aren't giving anything away. Trick finally using some of their own Mollies and whatnot to try and smoke this up and prevent Envy from peeking them when they do decide to push through here. But they're also going to have to deal with Scream down below. And finally, they move in. But they're not heading downstairs at the moment. They're sneaking through this little alleyway behind the box. And Happy, while well, he's surprised, he's going to bring one of them down to 9 HP. And Sixer will get their response on the Hunden there. But after this, now again, they still really don't have a lot of room to move. They actually have to transition all of this momentum onto a site. They move forward. It's easy tag again. They're moving in there. Finding Sixer to take him down. Maeve also trying to hunt inside too. So the surrounding strat here is slowly working out for them. 
But now they actually need to get this into the site. And RPK, he's ready for it. As he catches the player, pushing up close. Johannes wraps around the corner. It takes him a minute to spot RPK. He's brought down a 20 HP. The heaven support is going to be non existent here as Maeve shuts most of them down. Screams the last one standing, and he's going to be handled by Maeve as well. Great entry from him to shut down the round, and it'll be tricked. I take control of this one. Three to one now. And immediately we see the T's getting on the board on the first corner. But again, Envious getting through his anti ecos without with, all, with only losing one player. Uh, they still have plenty of cash, so they're going to have enough to buy through at least into this next round here too. Uh, to be able to, before they are going to be completely broken, that is, uh, have to eco afterwards. It's outside again very quickly for the trick players but it's it's quickly to move into this initial staging area but they don't actually move forward past the cross that's the thing uh, they've actually just decided to hold back here again though this is still safe since envy isn't really putting anybody in the warehouse or whatnot a Cillian, nice spin around there rpk moves in to take down johannes but still axelon is able to also take out rpk as well Good recoveries on these kills here. Finally, though, he's even going to move back in for another one, but he will meet his match against Sixer. Happy that moving in destroys the bomb planter before he can go any further. And now you're looking at a 2v2. Happy, though, does not proceed forward into the site any further. He'll wait for Sixer to regroup with him. Easy Tag will actually get dinked down to a 10 HP, and Happy aligns the kill against Maeve. So all he's got to worry about is Easy Tag now. Further back in the site. He will re-smoke the bomb, and he's moving forward here. He's got him low, but actually can't get that kill just yet. Six bullets, now four left in the clip there. He finds the connection shot. Just got to locate the bomb again. He's got it. It is a full 10-second defuse, uh, but I think he had an excess of like three or four seconds here, so he should be good. And we will see a fourth one for Ennis. That'll trade out the rounds against Tricked, and they will get their economy reset here. And it is going to leave them still, thankfully, with enough for one more force buy. Uh, it's not going to be amazing, though. Johannes has to go down to a CZ. And Asilian and Maeve are both going to be working with UMPs as well. They get two AKs, however. One in the hands of Hunden and one for EC Tag. Which I'm really hoping that's actually how you say his name. And you guys are just not trolling me. Beyond this, it's a big shy away actually from outside pressures. It's only easy tag moving in this time. The rest are just trying to brute force the A bomb site. RPK again, the tank can't be taken down here. Finally, Nez knocked out after he gets two massive kills from up on top, though, and it's down to Hunden now. A 1v3 aligned for him, but he won't get any further than the first kill. Sixer takes him down, and then he shut down yet another one here. Five to one becomes our scoreline. Envious still sitting on. A somewhat a somewhat iffy economy currently, but thankfully they're keeping Trick down low enough too, coming off of that force round uh, to be able to put them on a full eco here. So they have their chance to uh, re-establish things once again, uh, go up to P250s and whatnot there on the T side. So this, this in theory, uh, should be very easily dispatched by the Envious roster, and they should be able to build up that economy quite nice, just like we are seeing on the anti -Ecos. However, again, it's easy tech sneaking back in. Now the Glock is going to grab the kill against Happy, so I might stand corrected. There might be some damage to be seen yet. Easy tech trying to hop around there on the catwalk up on top. It's not playing out to his favor, though. A Sixer and RPK grabbing those kills. Johan is getting taken down there, too. So it's Hunden and Maeve that you're down to working with here currently. And while they have managed to get Hunden into the control room, the bomb carrier Maeve will be dispatched further up top, leaving them not with a chance to find the plant, as they might have been hoping a few seconds before this. And now it's just a game of hunting down Hunden. So he'll sneak over here. And let's see, are they watching out for a heaven play? Scream is actually not paying attention to it. He could get him on the backside, but that, uh, that whatever that crane is or whatever in the middle. He's kind of blocking his view right now, so I don't think he's actually able to see him. He does just end up going outside of heaven anyway, and that is where Sixer is going to close out on him, and they'll get their Sixer out. There's a little bit of delay there before we finally saw the kill, but it's their round indeed, and for Tricked here now, a little bit of transition, and they do go into another gun round. We have to hope, though, that we can see a bit more on the entry power this time, as Envious for the most part. Specifically, RPK has been a huge menace to these guys as they've been going for these direct A hits. We haven't really seen a faster outside play from them yet, leading into secret or just some sort of direct B, B contact play from the guys on Trick for the most part. These have still been slower outside plays wrapping into the garage that generally would lead into A hits. 
So they've been uh, they've been not too fond of going for B, and because of this, you know, we can see Devo Dubek has uh, has been a little bit irrelevant in this game, not in a bad way, for a sense, just sort of unfortunately because of the position he's been playing and as he's been tested so little, he just hasn't really had any chances to have any action to go his direction. So he's just been hanging out here for most of the game, and it seems as though this round is going to be another example of where we'll see even more of that. As again, tricked to go for the slower outside control here. Moving it up, Happy in the back of the warehouse there, picks up a kill. EC Tag trying to wrap around here, that little alleyway behind the box. Spotted by Scream, but a good adjustment from EC Tag actually takes out Scream. And now is going to try to, in a moment here, maybe take down Happy in that warehouse. The thing is, though, is that Happy is is, is a bit uh, it's a bit stalemated inside of there. Unless he aggressively moves out, there's not really much that he's going to be able to do until he decides to make that move. So they're looking out for him now to do that, and he will sneak in. RPK grabs the kill against EC Tag, but Maeve also picks one up on Happy. Again, it's RPK, though, with the multi-frag on the outside position. Just outside of Heaven, he grabs two more kills. And now you're looking at Johannes and Asilian trying to clutch this one out. He'll move himself in. Ooh, flashes himself, though, so that's going to cause a bit of a delay. And he still has the player up top to deal with here. It's RPK looking for his third on the round. He does massive damage. And we'll get the assist if they can come through with this one. But actually, no. Johannes has gotten both of the kills inside of the site. And it's just on Sixer now. Trying to clutch. He swings up. And he can't get the kill onto Asilian. So he will close out on the round. The Tricked will find a second. They just barely squeaked through onto that one there. As the player towards Heaven, unfortunately, is not able to impact as much as he would have liked. And RPK can't connect that kill. If they get the kill, that round probably goes in the complete opposite direction. As they have that last player isolated just outside of the, the, vent, the vent drop position and over by the doorway. But it doesn't work out. And uh, this has been enough at the very least to put Envious... Uh, they're going to eco here. They're, some players will half-buy, but for the most part, you're looking at what is essentially just a full eco for most of these guys here. No utility or anything behind the armor buys either. So nothing too crazy that we're expecting from Envious. But 5-7s, of course, can be very dangerous. So we, we might not want to count them out of the picture just yet here. Thankfully for Trick, though, with those pistols in hand, outside control is going to be a much easier game to play towards this time around. And that seems to have been their go-to spot. As they do move in, there actually is going to be aggression coming in for the Ramper Men. It's not just here either. It is the Shed where they're also pushing in. RPK again with the leading kill for Envious. Takes down Johannes. And after they get that, and they push them out of the T lobby way. And probably down towards Secret. Let's just double check to make sure that's where they're heading. Yeah, pretty much everybody's going to shuffle in the Secret. Envious are corralling Tricked in exactly where they want to take them right now. Scream as he sits back over there too. Hunting with the Deagle. He's not going to be met with as much success as the first toy contact team was though. Happy finds the player outside, watching for these flanks. So Asilian will go down. It's still a man advantage for Envious. And now they've got two AKs to work with here. One with armor sitting behind it on RPK as well. London spinning himself back around. Does find Devo Dubek. And Happy now pushing himself back in here. He spotted the bomb going down on the ground. There's no support there. Trade system set up at all for the bomb planter. So he's dead on the ground. Made with the off of decon though. Finds one, finds two onto the tank as he takes down RPK. And it's just going to be Sixer here in a 1v2 trying to clutch this one out. He'll leap back in. He knows he's got Maeve down below. Maeve misses the shot. And now he's got a chance at this blood. EC Tag has not revealed himself yet. He's going to swing open the door. Tags him down to 30 and finishes the job through the door as well. Nice hit on the clutch from EC Tag. He's actually, he's actually been probably the more one of the more consistent players here from Tricked. When it comes, you know, when it comes into these pressured situations, at the very least, he's always able to trade 1v1, if not just clutch things out and pick up the big advantage of the trick side. So good stuff from him. Not lose his cool in that situation. Good attempt from Sixer as well. Uh, just didn't really go the way he wanted to there. And that 1v1, unfortunately, as EC Tiger remained fairly quiet up to that point and had not given away his position. Look at Trick, though. It's a big train that's going to work its way over here onto the outside spot. And there's very little resistance from the CT side over here. They're not going to be putting anybody to watch out for this one. And they will kind of let them move through here. Sixer will get boosted up onto the boxes. And, well, Happy spraying in way too late there. <laughs> Tricked have already transitioned their players into secret. And because this is being read so late, this could actually be a big problem for them. Unless Scream comes out huge here with the tag. Unfortunately, he won't. Easy tie gets the kill. Devo Duvex swinging back in a decon, though. Finds one. But he's very low at 18 HP. Maeve realizes this. So he moves in. Maeve, there's no door over there, man. I don't know where you were trying to go. But he does burn alive. Gets knocked out as well. And we go down to an even 3v3. Happy's going to swing in here as well. He's found an easy tag in control room, getting that kill. They know they have Hunting constricted to this corner. And they have slowly knocked these guys out. That's a good shot from Asilian, though. Swings in to find RPK. But these next two are going to be the toughies, especially since the bomb hasn't gone down yet. He can't really play this to time, and time is working against him. As we do see Happy slowly moving in against Asilian here. Sp oh, spot him on the backside. He did give himself away, but he won't directly challenge that. He's heading upstairs as well here to wrap back around towards the ramp room where Sixer is spotted. This so they're, they're 
They're giving them a half decent amount of room to work with here. The big problem, though, especially with that rep coming in, is that, yeah, there's going to be two players peeking from that room. Uh, even if Sixer had gone down, this happy probably would have been joining him in just, just a moment after that one. So they would have been able to link up and add the additional support. And at the end of the day, it's just another one for Envious. 7-3 to three, as they continue to forge ahead here with Tricked. Forcing into this one, it's really not the greatest force in the world, though. For the most part, CZ, Tech-9 on Maeve. P250 for Hunden with a uh, with a Galil sitting on a Cillian. And Easy Tag as well, just with the just with the scout to work with. A tricked. Again, sitting at the edge of it. They're trying something this they're trying something new here and trying to force their way in. We haven't seen this since the early rounds of the half here. They've been focusing a lot more on the outside portions, but Prior to this, these inner hits were going with some success, but now it's all been put down, essentially. You're looking at just Maeve with only two trades, and Sixer coming in the flank. Actually, Sixer almost going to go down here, potentially. He does recover the situation with his USP, though, and it does close out on that one, as uh, Envious are going to be able to continue forward here. Get their eighth round. Money's still a bit tight, of course, but the trick is forcing. Uh, they're going to be on an eco here, and it is another chance for Envious to continue to build up the economy. As we shift towards the closing rounds of the half, won't be a bad thing at all for Envious to get just a little bit of extra bank to make sure that they don't have to eco on one of these two last rounds. Should we see Trick have a sudden turnaround to bring this one back? And they're putting a lot of pressure outside again to drop back and around potentially into A, judging from the position of Johannes right now. Scream's going to see it coming in really early, though as he does not check on the top spot. And now they're suspecting this drop. Look at Happy with these headshots right now. Is that sure that's Happy? It's not Scream? Happy just destroys it. Gets a massive 4K. And with that, Tricks are going to find a very quick end to their strat here as Envious claim a ninth. Well, it's the last, it's one of the last, I should say, gun rounds here. Trick will probably have one more trick up their sleeve. Haha. Uh, in the 15th round, of course. But for the most part, just pressuring the outside again. And it's worked out. Happy, unfortunately, is not going to find anywhere close to the effectiveness that he did have in the previous round. He's going to go down pretty quickly as he tries to play a bit more aggressively towards the red box that time. They knock him away from this one. Scream, though, at long range, topping in, finding Maeve, catches the trade and brings things down to a 4v4. But Hunden is also going to sneak in, and he finds Scream before he can <laughs> retreat back any further inside of Hell to work his way into a safe position. Not only this area, too. Now, Sixer hasn't been tested from here yet. He has not actually been able to strike, despite him boosting him up here like two or three times. He's going to find that first kill against Johannes. Cillian now is going to look to trade the flashbang. Oh, <laughs> a bit unfortunate there, as he gets destroyed by it. So Asilian will catch that trade, and it's not just here either. It's Hunden on the outside here, inside of the warehouse still, that takes down Devo Duvek. So, you're looking at RPK. He's been having a big half so far, but he's going to go huge here with the 3K. Won't get any of that, though. Hunden will shut it down. Actually, it's a pretty big run from him, too. Hopping around the map to make sure that none of the envious players uh, in, in, in these more passive positions are able to become a menace for them later on in the round. So, he'll do a nice job of hunting down those, those crucial players from envious. Uh, now, it gives his team a little bit more breathing room as they do edge towards the end of the half. But it's fast outside yet again from the trick side of things. Smoke's already deployed so that they can safely cross through the red box. And they're going to hold here again, though. And this has been their more standard style. Happy in the back, though. Easy Tag sees it. But Happy's got it up now. Moving in there. He finds Easy Tag and shuts him down. We knocked out of this round. The flashbang right in Happy's face. But thankfully, he is able to fall back for right now. But also Hunden again. Sneaking through the smoke. Being sneaky about this one. Looking for Happy. He's found him. And down we'll go. The current opper for the CT side. He's also going to hunt for Devo Duvek too, and it almost seems like that wasn't properly communicated. Like, Happy didn't realize where he got killed from, as it takes Devo Duvek a moment to realize what exactly is happening. He'll get taken down. That opens up the ramp room, and now Trick to have an easy path down to the B-bomb site. They're looking good to continue forward here to claim a fifth. But the guys from Envious are not done fighting just yet. Sixer, unfortunately, is actually probably going to have a little bit of a hard time looking for impact, but I think if he really wants to, he can fall back over here and trade out for a rifle. Johannes, though, and the other members of Trick patience works out great for them as they move in 
or apologies, they hold themselves inside of the uh, the T lobby way there to find that additional kill. They waited for Envious to get aggressive, and they were able to punish that. So it's now sitting down just on Sixer and Scream to try and clutch 2v4. And keep in mind, they got full control of the ramp room. Yet they haven't actually moved Maeve in just yet. Maeve is still sitting in T lobby. Finally, though, with only 20 seconds on the clock, they're going to push him away. But Sixer, in the meantime, gets himself a nice little battle with Hunden. And is able to take him down. The T's finally flood themselves. They end up going towards the upper bomb site. But here comes Scream. No, it's all being lost somehow. And again, Scream bringing himself back into this one out. Seven seconds left. The Cillians are going to clutch this one out. He knows where Scream is, but he's still going to find his opponent swinging wildly there. It's actually Sixer that gets the kill. It's so odd that they do not go for the bottom site after they get full control of the ramp room. Obviously, reason to believe that they, this would have been spotted out, obviously, and they could have do dropped down into the vents and were able to defend it, but it didn't happen. The site was completely open. They instead try to wait it out for too long and just go directly into where the last two members of Envious were camping. They go directly into their den and scream, mainly, along with some assistance from Sixer, just shuts it down. So somehow that round turns on its heels and goes into the favor of Envious when it had absolutely no business doing so. Trick throw that one away. And now on their last round of the half, unfortunately, they are not going to have the greatest buy again. It's only a single AK, one UMP on Maeve, and various pistols with that. Again, pretty various amounts of utility beyond that one too. Sixer, well, uh, he's got to put that—he's got to put that flashbang away. They're pushing in. Catches on one player here. Four bullets left in the clip, but he's not going to be able to impact beyond that. Gets the kill into easy tag. The rest of them do push their way in. They've got ramp roof control again. We'll see if they move a bit quicker into the site this time. And, well, they do at least on secret, but Scream's here defending those steps. He picks up a first kill. Devo Duvek with one more. Maeve able to trade. Him and Asylian are in the site now, but this is a very hesitant hold as RPK is going to work his way into the decon. Asylian with one tries to transfer the spray. He actually gets shot out of the map there. Uh, Happy is going to take him down, and Envious will end up going 11 to 4 on the half here now. Uh, that's, a, that's a dominating scoreline, and this is one of those. Pretty much anything beyond the 10-5 scoreline is, is one where if the leading team is going to win the pistol in the following couple rounds, then it's, 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 all, it's, it's, all but, um, it's all but essentially impossible for the opposing team of really round to come back. Tricked it up against the wall, and they essentially do have to win the pistol here if they want to have any realistic chance for a comeback. This would need to be a big uh, this would need to be a big loss of rounds from Envious at this point for them to throw this one away, assuming that they do take control of the pistol. But that will yet to be seen uh, as we're still waiting for teams to ready up and jump into the second half here. giving Trick the moment, I imagine, to strategize here and figure out what exactly they want to do. As there was quite a few situations where they where they were in control, but a, a bad judgment call or something of those lines ended up actually tossing it in the other way for Envious. And now it's put them up against the wall for elimination here to allow Envious to push their way through to go up against G2 in the next matchup, and uh, that's uh, that's going to be an interesting one, so you are not going to want to miss that as an update. That will be the next match on stream here, by the way, guys. Uh, Envious slash Trick, whoever ends up putting this map, uh, will move on to face G2. We'll show that one, and then starting at around noon uh, Pacific time here for the NA viewers, or uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time is when we'll go over to the North American qualifier and showcase the final matchup there, and that is going to be Immortals versus Team Liquid. There is also still another European match to be played, I believe, as well, around the noon slot time. We will not be covering that on this channel. Uh, that one will probably be covered by one of the partners, and you can uh, go ahead and look for that one when the time does come. But we'll be covering the NA match once we do hit, uh, once we do hit the time slot for that. So into the second half we shall go. And tricked early on again. There's nothing really too crazy about the setups from either team. Envious were hoping that they could catch someone from tricked moving in through the through the ramp room here to catch. But it was not meant to be. They're all holding back, and it's a very passive hold initially from tricked. Maeve is the hunter outside, but he's not going to be able to catch anything either. Johannes, in the meantime, also waiting for a push. Possible vent play from these guys, or at the very least, Happy could try to move in to punish it. But CDs actually fall back and let them flood in through the ramp from here, so they're going to let them get control. But this is dangerous now. They've got overarching support on that site, and there's really no one left to stop them here. They're going to be able to flood back in. Asylian tries to run towards the decon door, but Happy's going to be able to move in there, punish him, and stop that from happening. So it'll be a 4v5 retake here for the guys on Trick to try and t clutch out here. 
as they all reach around and try to get into better positions to do this. Hunden tags in first here as the guys from Envious do flood in. They still have EC Tag hiding out in new Toxic Room over there as well, and it's a bit awkward. RPK and another one of his teammates there are trying to share the nuke itself to keep themselves in cover. It works out, and apparently Happy knifes someone at the end there too. Back down over by T-Con, he takes down Maeve, and Envious will take control of the knife off of that one. 12-4 to 4 will be our leading scoreline as we do go into the second half here, and for Trick, well, they have a lot of makeup work to do off of that one. One. They need to immediately upset into the uh, second round here, and we will see the corresponding force behind that. Maeve saving, of course, as he does need to focus on the gun round uh, with the op, I imagine. But the rest have gone all in, and we can see Sixer is not going to waste any time whatsoever pushing through. Johannes should have gotten the call now. He'll know that they're close up by Red Box. And he'll be aligning to stop them from transitioning over there to the secret steps. The smoke, I think, actually was a little bit short. So, yeah, it's open. They got the bomb across, but no one else. Now the bomb is stuck. And there's going to be a CT moving in, too. Sixer! Oh, he tossed his gun away. So, a Cillian's going to be able to take down Sixer. This is all falling apart. What's happening right now? Envious have lost their stride. Because of the imperfect smoke. And they can't get across to the bomb anymore. So Scream is holding back here. Happy, in the meantime, is fairly disconnected from the action. And EC Tag, well, he's tagged the hell out of Happy. Brought him down to 2 HP. He's also watching out for the cross from Scream at the same time, though. See up on top. Hunden's just going to finish the job on Happy. So it's left to Scream. 1v5. He's been surrounded. There's nowhere safe for him. He can actually still back up if he wants to. Um, but ultimately, here, he does need to eventually fight this out to go for the bomb which is not going to give him a whole lot of room to do it. Trick, they're being super passive. They do dink him, I think, through the garage door a bit. He tags onto one of them, but can't get any of those kills. So it's Trick with a full five-man alive forced up CT second investment round. It works for them. They're going to save themselves, and if they can keep it here now, if they can prevent them from getting upset against Envious now, as I imagine they'll also force into this one, uh, then they will have their chance to get back into this game and round the comeback. See Scream up oh, that first here as he does push himself to outside. But uh, Trickter actually not going to be pressuring this this time. For the most part, they've fallen back. And well, we're going to wait to see if they can catch a red box cross again. It won't be the case. Everybody else is inside. There's a great flashbang onto a Cillian here. Takes RPK a few shots, but he gets the kill. That's going to be a Cillian down onto the ground. Scream waiting on the outside. There's the Deagle from Scream. He finds Hunden and takes him down. Oh. And oh, he honest. <laughs> He tried to get that kill and move in to close the door, but the floodgates were already open at that point. The water pressure was too much, and Envious were able to just swing in. It's a team ace from Envious here, as uh, they will go up 13-5 to five now, and uh, we have ourselves a bit of a chaotic start to the second half. Trickter obviously going to force into it. Uh, the money situation here is... Not just the money situation either, but the, the round situation is a little bit too desperate for them to say, okay, we're done screwing around this, we're just going to save and focus on the gun round. They do have to go for this, they do have to try and get the advantage against Envious. What if this goes on for too long, obviously, but the scoreline, Envious are eventually just going to win anyway. So they do need to, uh, I would say right here, they need to try and end this, otherwise it's, it's more than likely still going to be Envious that takes control of this map and this set too. Happy already finding the first kill. On the outside, as he jumps himself, I imagine, on that catwalk there and leaps downstairs. The ceiling, though, they fail to account for him as he's right by the big A sign. Uh, uh, RPK, having some problems there. Well, not having problems bragging out, as we can see. It took them a really long time to find a Cillian after he got those two kills. But, well, when RPK couldn't find the first target, he quickly changes his lock-on to the two guys sitting up on top by heaven there. It shuts them both down. Some great stuff from him again. And overall, this has been a really impressive match overall from RPK. Again, do note, of course, that most of these scores are fairly skewed. Obviously, RPK is not 24-2. and two. Uh, he's... I think the kills are correct, but the deaths are definitely wrong. It's a weird bug with uh, ESCA servers that's existed for the past uh, for the past couple of uh, for the past couple of weeks now, I imagine. All right, Fire, if I remember correctly, it's been there for a couple weeks now. I have the pugs too. So anyway, Envious, uh, they're just gonna leap their way downstairs and go for the quick take on the B, not wasting any time about this at all. In they shall go. And there's no one really resisting it from the Trick D Sports side. They're having a very easy time about this one. Happy, whipping around. Finding these kills quickly. Johannes and Astillion. 
both have been eliminated already here, and there's just not a lot of hope for Tricked. Happy. It's just have to really make sure he doesn't give a gun over to an opponent at this point. But yeah, he's got to back up. And so he's been dinked, but EC Tag, nicely done, chases him, so, chases him inside, takes him out of the match here. Not only him too, but Hunden finding one of the Sixer. So some good damage being done. At the very least, they're giving them some guns to work with as they will go into that final round. But unfortunately, I think uh, I think Trick are going to be investing in the next round anyway. These aren't really huge victories here. They're really just trying to bring down the economy for Envies if they can still try to round this comeback. But now they're looking at 10 rounds straight. This round is 100% still going into the favor of Envious. So these are these are small victories that Trick are able to get by getting these kills here. But it matters very little in the grand scheme of things if Envious just crushes them on the next round. We will see what trick have to offer us, if they can maintain, if they can try to round this comeback, or if eventually Envious is just going to crush them here and move on forward to face off against G2. That'll be the big match. That'll probably be the highlight match for today. So you are not going to want to miss that one, which will be coming up pretty, uh, pretty quick, almost immediately after this one. Basically, as soon as the teams are ready, we should be able to switch into that match. As uh, the guys from G2, well, they haven't had to play any matches previous to today, so... We will see Johannes actually striking first, and it's not just him either, it's Hunden sitting inside of the warehouse here that picks up the kills on the RPK. Scream has gone down. They're looking at three left alive here. Envious, their outside, their outside conquest here has failed miserably, so they've been pushed back. They smoke out over here by the by the shed to try and force their way, to try and uh, just make some noise over here, essentially. There's definitely no commitment coming in yet from Envious. They're still weighing their options very heavily. I'm thinking this is still going to end up going in towards the ramper, but there's good resistance here, too. As they do move in. Nice spot from Sixer, but he's traded back out. And actually, apologies, there's a team kill against Sixer from Demo Tuvek. Maeve picks up a kill onto Asylian, and then Hunden's going to seal the deal against Happy. Tricked, win the round, and go 6-15 to 15 now. They've started themselves on the path, but it's a long, long road, isn't it now? And they haven't even broken Envious to start things off here. They are going to be down onto the AKs and whatnot. So they still have this next big buy before they are going to be completely broken. And uh, Trick to have like, a couple easier rounds up their sleeves. In the opening moments again, it will be a very large outside push from Envious here. Smokes pretty much starts trying to cover everything here in the initial push area to give them the ability to push their way in and take control. It's a full lead up towards Secret here. The problem is, is actually, again, the smokes are imperfect. There's a little tiny hole that area through the, which Hunden can see through. And he's found RPK, taking him down. He sees that Devil Dubek went inside of the warehouse too. So his attempt to be secretive here and sneak through has failed pretty badly. And now he's kind of stuck. The other three did manage to escape down the steps, so they're working their way over there, but there's Johannes again tapping in. Hunden with another pickup against Devo Duvek. Envious are falling apart once again. The setup looked good initially. They made a mistake with the smoke, and it allowed Trick to see through and ultimately punish this push from the Envious roster. It's down to Scream now in a 1v5 with very little damage done to anyone at all on Tricked. He has some utility to work with, but ultimately, this is another very clean run from the CT side, as they're going to be able to make, continue to build up their own economy here to prevent them themselves from being dropped down to a point where they're kind of forcing into this one but envious again still with enough cash flow here i think happy can probably drop something over to sixer there's a pause about this one actually i imagine from envious but one or two of these guys are still going to have to end up on pistols if they go for it. that's the only one though they, sh they should definitely be able to afford the rifle drop over to sixer and or scream uh, with happy 6700 so they're probably pausing now to discuss not only that too but just to figure out okay guys what's the what's the winning strat here we need one round so how do we do it Yeah, Devo Duvek is the new player uh, jumping in here at this point for the guys on Envious. I actually had not heard of him at all before yesterday, but from what I can tell, uh, he had a pretty good performance at ESWC and a couple of other French lands towards the end of last year. And is, uh, is a bit more of a closer friend with one of the players. I'm not sure which player exactly uh, from the current Envious roster, and that's why they've decided to give him a chance now and see what he can do on this roster. But I don't think previous to this, just for his team history anyway, uh, that I was able to check out. He hasn't been on any of the more highlightable French squads prior to this. This is his, this is his first chance at the bat in the spotlight here. And he's not Owen whatever right now. That's, that's again, that's incorrect. <laughs> he's not Owen 12. He does have some kills. I just don't know how many. Because of the bug! XD. 
But uh, Envious, it looks as though they are just going to push their way over there towards the ramp room again. Hunden's going to come in to support. Hunden has been a huge force to be reckoned with here in this matchup. He'll move in. Takes down Debo Dubek to 21 HP and 6, or he doesn't actually get any kills. So Debo Dubek going to rep around. He manages to get the trade on the EC tag, but now Asilian moving in to try and clutch these, or try and uh, crush these guys before they can get any further into the site. They move in, and they brought it down to 3 here. Envious will be able to escape with the plant at the very least. But Happy wrapping outside, finding one more kill. It's actually all going to come down to Happy as Debo Dubek is killed by Hunden with the HE grenade. Happy snuck in behind this smoke, but he's not going to be very sneaky about it. I think Hunden reads it, and it's another quick retake for the tricked esports guys. Eight to fifteen. They're just they're just over halfway there now, but still a lot longer to go. Envious are certainly not going to be sweating anytime soon. This would be incredible if it were to go to 15-15. But you have to keep in mind the inevitability of the 15 scrolling that NVS has. It's one round, and that round can pop out of nowhere. They can look like the momentum swing is huge for the team making a comeback, but it can also be crushed in one swift blow if there's a mistake made from the trick side. So they need to be flawless. And you need to keep in mind the achievement that they will make if they're actually able to accomplish that. Is that they go that many rounds without making a mistake, which costs them the round. And that's why Envious, I imagine, are still remaining very calm at this point. No reason to worry, no reason to force that way. Anyway, they did take their first pause there, I imagine, a moment ago. I actually never got coverage that was their pause, but I'm going to assume it was. I think they can still, if we're going off of general pause, use, pause rules, use quite a few more to uh, try and re-strategize here and try something else to net them that singular round. We are going to see the windows getting broken here as the envious guys do drop back down to deploy a bit of utility. Again, there's no actual commitment yet, and Happy in the meantime has been able to sneak himself over here. He's got himself down to the bottom, but he does not check for EC tag behind the boxes. And what's even worse, too, is Scream got knocked out by Maeve as he peeked in from hell. Now Molly's going to roll in RPK. He's been a little bit quiet in this half so far. He's going to leave it. Oh, he doesn't realize there's a player on top of his head right now. Johannes is going to get that kill. Debo Dubek was able to get one on the entry, but Johannes is back again for another tag in. He takes down Debo Dubek, and it's down to Sixer and a 1v2, but he's just gotten the kill. And now the last one standing is going to be EC tag. He'll work his way up towards heaven. He can certainly hear Sixer this move his way down, but no, he goes back up on top. And with that, he's going to drop Sixer, take him out of the mix. And that will give the round a trick yet again. If he continued downstairs, he would have had that. But no, it's not meant to be. And the guys from Envious will not end the map here. Trick will continue to round the comeback. And for the guys on Envious, while they do semi-force into this one, again, it's not a bad one by any means. <sighs> it's not a bad one by any means. Uh, they do manage to get AKs and whatnot. It's just it's really like limited on utility for some players, but that's that's really about it. And obviously, Scream can still work with the Deagle. We've seen that a couple times already in this half alone. So we will see what Envious can work towards here. As they do move in for outside control, which is something that they have uh, they have shied away from now. For quite a few of the past rounds, they've actually just been playing it here toward inner for the most part. And trying to see if they can work off of that one. This is the first time we've seen them go outside in a couple of rounds now. But Sixer still waiting outside. And Envious overall here being really, really passive about the way that they're playing into this round. They're hoping, they're praying in a certain way that someone from Trick makes a mistake, that they peek out too far, that they get too aggressive. But you can see it, the positions are really safe. Now though, Envious, they're moving in for the crush. However, Hunden and Asilian, they're able to hold for two trades, but Devo Dubek, RPK, along with more of the members of Envious, are able to move in here and do the damage that's necessary to crush things. They box out the remaining members of Trick from the site. They're both sitting up in heaven right now, but it's a very risky peek if they do decide to go for it here. EC Tag and Maeve are both going to jump back down, give up their heaven positions. And try to sneak back over here towards the garage instead to sneak their way back in, but that's been smoked out. Great shot from Maeve. Traces the spray from Happy through the smoke and is able to take him down. There's a lot more. Oops. There's a lot more happening, though, inside of the site that they're going to have to worry about. Most notably, Devo Duvek still sitting over here. 
and seeing exactly where they're coming in from and they do end up walking into that so there is the inevitability factor that i was just talking about there guys a great attempt from trick to round the comeback but unfortunately the huge lead that they did give envious moments before this is just too much to crawl back from and they will take control of this one so they go two to one they will push forward, and they will go up against G2 in the next matchup, guys. Be sure to stick around. That should be coming up here at any moment. We're just going to take a short break, and as soon as the game is ready, we'll be coming back to you with that one. Stick around for more action right here from the IM Katowice Qualifiers.